Hello, we are the cross-functional team from the University of Wisconsin-Superior. My name is Kaylee, and I'm a senior. My name is Brianne, and I'm a senior. And I'm Gianluca, and I'm a senior. Footskins is a family-owned business founded in 2016. They are an e-commerce business. They've seen lots of growth over the past few years, and they have their sales have increased 1.7 million units in 2020, and we've seen the biggest growth of 25% over the last eight months in 2020. However, there are problems. Their California distribution center is overwhelmed. There's increase in costs and delays, and the future growth currently is too high of a cost. We're also seeing slow and expensive shipping times. There's lots of order abandonment, and we're having trouble getting to different and new customers on the East Coast because of these long shipping times. So now we have to decide between WebNet and opening new distribution centers. Um, WebNet, even though it is a giant in the e-commerce industry, has problems of its own. We're still having issues with delayed shipping because we still have to ship our products to their warehouses. Plus, we lose um, brand visibility and we have um, reduced customer interaction. We lose, lose that relationship we form with them. So since these issues remain with their supply chain and we lack the total amount of info for a complete cost analysis, we have decided to not go with this. Instead, we are going to pursue the option of opening new distribution centers in three different areas, Chicago, Savannah, and New Jersey. Um, we're going to introduce an idea of a staggered approach and a sequ sequential opening of distribution centers. Um, we're going to include factors in determining distribution centers, and with that, we're going to do a total cost analysis of these. Shipping cost is one of the biggest expenses the company is incurring. It is very important to understand that for every order we are losing money. The best we can do is to lower our shipping cost using lower zones. Shown to the left is a map uh, with arcs showing the best uh, zones, five or less, for each distribution center. The chart on the right shows uh, of uh, the current uh, NPE costs that the company is using. On the on red, we can see how much uh, is lost for every order when the customer is only charged $4.99. All orders over $40 have free shipping. Next, I will walk you through the total cost analysis we computed to compare better shipping cost options. We calculated a total cost analysis to deliver a pair of socks to New York City from the four distribution centers under review. We have all the equations for each cost at the end of our presentation in our appendix. We have a wholesale price of $13 to get the product from Vietnam. We have an ocean transit cost to bring the product to the United States. We have a cost to unload the containers coming from Overseas, we have a cost uh, to store our product in our warehouses and a cost to pick and sort to process the orders. Like I mentioned before, one of the most important things uh, is our MPE cost, uh, which is very high. And in green, we have our uh, future cost increase for warehouse storage due to overcapacity. And in red, I have the very, very easily reachable goal of 20% discount by processing 50,000 orders in a month. We have two total costs. The first one includes the 499 charge to the customer, the second one does not. At any rate, cost is not the only factor to consider, providing better customer satisfaction. What a customer wants is to have their product delivered fast. It is equally important to consider time to cost and I will walk you through a delivery, the delivery time improvements we discovered using the New Jersey distribution center. The table on the left shows the percent of total unit sales by state which uh, are 22 states that can be better served by using the New Jersey DC which totaled to 39.8% which we can also refer to almost 40% of our current customers can be better served by opening the New Jersey DC. 
they will have they currently have shipping times of four to five days and we are going to give them shipping in one to two days to 40 percent of our customers we, uh, having all customers within zone five or less another big goal opens new opportunities for us reducing order abandonment to to achieve these business decisions we have to first reach our customers and we prepared a few marketing plans that Bri Brianne will discuss next. These are Footskin's marketing and strategic considerations. All of our marketing is currently online, um, and they're focusing on high brand recognition and maintaining company values. We would like to place ad on fitness websites, um, collabs with fitness influencers, and increase in presence in specialty shops and states with the highest growth potential. We'd also like to, one of our major strategic considerations is um, opening our new distribution warehouses, which Kaylee will outline in the next slide. <clears throat> new Jersey is the best choice for a new distribution center. A DC in New Jersey offers better service to customers in currently underserved areas. All customers could potentially receive their items within three days in regions served by New Jersey in the first year of opening, with further decreases in delivery times in the future. By eliminating shipments in zones six through eight, we can lower zone rates, which then offers the option to either keep the increased profits or share profits by lowering prices for our customers. A DC in New Jersey also allows for two significant advantages to the West Coast DC. <clears throat> This also increases potential for expanded market share by increasing customer satisfaction, which in turn increases marketability, all of which benefits both Footskins and their customers. In order to conserve capital and control the process, we decided to stagger development by opening one DC per year. As my colleague stated, Footskins was able to achieve 1.7 million units in sales in their first five years of opening. <clears throat> we are confident that over the next three years, we can achieve one million, an additional one million units in sales. Using the zoning data, we found which states could best be served by the LA DC and which states were best served by the New Jersey DC. Our findings showed that New Jersey could potentially serve more customers than LA and fill more unit sales, which would yield the most savings on the reduced shipping rate. Each chart shows the portion of units being fulfilled by the DCs annually. For reference to the states in each region, please see our appendix. In 2022, we chose a goal of 33% growth, which dispersed the units between LA and New Jersey. In 2023, we chose a goal of an additional 33% growth, which would reach 66% of total potential, opening a third DC in Chicago which would better serve Midwest states and the increasing unit sales. In 2024, we chose a goal of maximizing by reaching 100% growth potential. To do this, we recommend opening the fourth DC in Savannah. I would like to draw your attention to 2024. As you can see, the disbursement of units fulfillments is fairly equal. And by making those equal, we allow us to maintain a more flexible and resilient supply chain. Resiliency is important to any supply chain. Um, this picture in particular is showing us leaving the IANA Expo this year, and we see all of the port congestion at these SoCal ports. This is a main reason for us introducing distribution centers because it takes all of the pressure off of California and puts it on other ones, giving us the chance to react in the face of emergencies. Um, proper planning with buffer stock increase and the ability to mitigate problems due to weather and climate change is another option. And additionally, other DCs open the door to larger and potentially cheaper workforces outside of California to deal with um, labor shortages. We learn a lot from this pandemic by increasing buffer stock and not relying on one supply chain. In conclusion, distribution centers are a better choice for foot skins than WebNet to better increase customer satisfaction as stated in the reasons below. We would like to thank Ayana for this opportunity and to the University of North Florida for this academic challenge. We would also like to thank Larry Gross for the creation of this case study. Thank you. <laughs>